These golden hills have taken good care of us this summer. They always do. And the river too. This one Friday night, we watched the sunset from the top of the world. And Andy, this cool local dude who looks after the land, stopped by to see who we were. He remembered me because I left a GoPro on his tractor one time while I was getting a time lapse for a video for the town of Windsor. So we chatted and before we knew it, it was almost dark. Quick, we gotta get to the lake house before it closes. And we sure did, but just barely. And we got a bottle of wine with our summer quesadillas and after dinner we went across the lake to the dock which looks back towards the glowing reflection of the lake house. And at the end of the dock was a couple with a candle between them, possibly in the middle of the most romantic night of their lives. And so I played some soft guitar from a bench above the beach and we sipped wine out of the bottle. And kids home from college shared a peace pipe by the picnic tables before wading knee deep into the water, soaking in the music and looking at the moon. And we swung and talked to the early hours. And then we blinked and it was morning again. And we had the entire weekend ahead of us. <laughs> Where do we go? What do we do? Who cares? Who knows? But I had a few ideas. <laughs> I don't know. So we packed up Georgie the van and just went for it. It's so hot. Got lots of heat. Just like hands on the steering wheel, like cops, the window. <laughs> the shorts. Is it dark? Look at this wire truck. <laughs> We got the best breakfast in the world and then explored the farmer's market. <laughs> you know, I realized just the other day that the reason I always find myself in towns like Ashfield on the weekends is because I'm genuinely happy to my core when I'm there. The people and the energy. No other place gives me that feeling. It's time to put the color in. You have color? Mm -hmm. Yes! Hubba, yeah. hubba. How does it work? Do you, can you get a carton? I don't know. I don't know if you can do it. <laughs> oh, you get it Yum, yum, yum. Just recently, because we're up on the porch, but the silicone. Yeah. Oh, you probably worked with Billy Joe, George. No, she works there. There, all oh, center. Yeah. I'm at the main hospital. That's Liam, my nephew. Mm -hmm. My sister and her husband used to live in Maine, but they're back in Mass now, which means Liam will be able to get plenty of river time. So I was planning to do a few little things to the van. I was going to replace the old carpet with some wood floor. At least that was the initial plan. Oh, 
Yeah. Liam. <laughs> you like the camera. Yeah. This is incredible. I gotta get this. <laughs> Never seen it. You bury like it? it? And the whole store is filled with Thank you so much. Wow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's so cute. Asparagus. Whoa. <laughs> Avocado. And the adventure continues. Once again, there we were, trying to get to dinner before it closes. This time the pizza place. And of course, I can't help but get distracted. Blue Hour just captivates me every time. And after dinner, we had another night with the moon. Felt like you could reach out and grab it. And then, in a day full of bittersweet goodbyes, I put my truck up for sale via Instagram and in 24 hours I had more inquiries than I knew what to do with. <laughs> Proud owner of a 64. Yeah. <laughs> Tim and Tom showed up in person and I met them and immediately got a good vibe from them. They only knew of my YouTube channel, not my Instagram, and somehow found the truck via Craigslist by chance. It was just cool. It seemed right. I know old Red's got a good home now. And I already got my eyes on a few more old trucks. It's been amazing and relaxing slowing down on the weekends with Heidi. It's just so easy to get caught up in it all. Like when it's finally time to put the wood floor into the van and you go to remove the carpet and you end up gutting it and committing to a full-on restoration. Oh, brother. I gotta tell you though, I'm excited. I get to build the inside exactly how I want, get a fresh new paint job, and make everything unique. Georgie the van is going to be stunning once he's done. And the Berkshire Spa is coming along pretty well. I'm in the process of leveling out all the land and making the foundation strong before I actually start building some real stuff. That means lifting every rock from the river, chopping every root, and shoveling every load of earth by hand. It's the most satisfying feeling in the world. This place is part of my soul. I want you to be able to experience the river like I do every day. And soon, that will be a reality. Is that a video? It is. Can you 
got a bit of a squiggly wig in on you. <laughs> You're looking like a rainbow. A Hawaiian rainbow. You're out there. July was a dream full of country pie and golden light. A month I'll remember for the rest of my life. And August is going to be even better. I love when the water is so still that you can see the sky. <laughs>